Hello all, Shadwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, Avengers The Age of Ultron from 2015. It's the second film in the Avengers box set, is directed by Joss Whedon, and stars Mark Ruffalo and Chris Hemsworth. Of course, before we get things started, let us all observe how much of a fucking douche nozzle Joss Whedon is. Okay, I feel a bit better now. Avengers The Age of Ultron is commonly looked at as a bit of a sophomore slump for the Avengers series. I don't believe that to be true, and believe me, I know that I am in the minority on that. Here. Let me explain. There is the obvious reasons that I already talked about recently when I did the reviews of the Awesome Powers series of films. One of the things that a sequel gets is practically a gimme is that it doesn't need to spend so much time building lore and backstories for the main characters. A lot of, if not all of that world building is done in the first film in a series, so now the sequel has freed up some runtime to devote to something else. And in the case of Avengers The Age of Ultron, it's time to focus on man's biggest enemy me himself. Through the mindfuckery of the Scarlet Witch character, who spends much of her freshman MCU appearance as a villain, the individual members of the Avengers have to look deep inside themselves and look at the thing that scares them most. It's very interesting to watch most of the Avengers wrestle with an existential crisis throughout much of the film, which leads to some big things. The biggest, for me, is Bruce comes to believe that the Earth isn't safe from him, so he leaves it, and the possible romance with Natasha behind. And that shit kills me when I watch it. I think that's the thing that clinches this as better than the first film for me. The time that this film takes to focus on the individual members, focusing on themselves and their place both in the world and in the squad. It's some super fascinating shit to watch and I guess maybe the reason it doesn't go over very well with fans is maybe because the sequel focuses less on external struggles and more on internal ones. Of course I don't think that makes total sense because the last 30 something minutes are jam packed with high explosive action but perhaps it was too little too late for some people? I don't know. All I know is I like it and I am not apologizing for that, which is why I'm gonna give Avengers The Age of Ultron an A- and move on to Avengers Infinity War tomorrow. See y'all then.